In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install OptiFabric for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod with like this. Now enter and here you will find modern.com. Just click on modern and then you will be on the modern form page. From there, just go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mod packs. Now, just go and search mod packs and search Opti Fabric. Now, just click on the name here, and this will bring you to this page. So, from there, just go to versions, then go to game versions, and choose 1.21.9. Here, we have one beta release of it, but there will be releases after. So for now, we'll just be using this. It is the same step for other releases for 1.21.9. So here, what you have to do is simply don't touch this page. You have to open up a new page because I'm going to make you download the actual mod because this button here will only download the mod for the mod app. But if you don't have the modern app, you will not be able to use it this method. Well, so let me show you how to actually get the mods from this mod pack. So you simply have to go to a new tab, then you have to go to your search bar, and then you have to search up MR pack. That's the name of the file. To zip. It's quite simple. Here you will find that we have a website called download.fo or fabulously optimized.github.io. Just click on this one, I will have this in the description. So just click on this, and basically here you have three options. You have this one, this one, and this one. The one that we want is download from URL, right? So it is the middle option. You are here, scroll down to the middle, and then you find download from URL. So what do we do? Well, to begin, simply go to OptiFabric again. Then, remember this button here? Don't click it to download it, you want to right click it. This will give you the link. Then just do copy link address. Okay, so once you have the link address of the button, just go back to the converter, then go to download from URL, go to this text box here, and right click and paste. This will paste in the URL for it. So from there, just do download. And now it just downloads it for you, like this, and then you'll see that we have our pack right here. So this is step one done, but as this is OptiFabric, it uses Fabric, and to get Fabric, you want to go to a new tab, then you want to go to your search bar and search up Fabric Minecraft. Now enter, here you'll find Fabricums.net, just click on Fabric, and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. So from there, just click the blue download button right here. And then go ahead and click the blue download for Windows button right here. And now you'll have Fabric Installer and OptiFabric. And yeah, that's basically all you need to actually get started. So from there, you can just close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine. Okay, from there, just go to your file explorer, then go to your downloads folder. And once you're here, you want to double click the Fabric Installer to get Fabric in your Minecraft launcher. So just double click this thing and basically you're gonna have a Fabric Installer. Just make sure the Minecraft version is correct and if it is, do install. Okay, and close. Once you have this, you now have to extract the mods from the zip. So you want to click the zip. You can click extract all here or right click and do extract all. It's the same button. And then you just want to do extract. So just extract the zip like this. Here you're gonna have three items. And if I go in this folder here, you'll have mods, and this is all you need to basically get off this fabric to work. It is a very simple mod pack. So now just don't touch here. Let's go ahead and go to the Minecraft launcher. So this is our Minecraft launcher here, and I'm gonna show you our fabric installer. So that would be for the newest version and then we'll be able to add the mods. Okay, so once we're here, you'll notice that we have Fabric Loader 1.20.9 right here. So make sure you have this selected. And what you wanna do is go to installations here on the top. 
Then you want to hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Then you want to go to the Mods folder here and you want to do one or two things. You can either delete it and upload the new Mods folder or you can do it the more safe route is just double click this. It should be empty. Then you want to go back to your Downloads folder. You want to go to your Extracted folder. You want to go in the Mods folder. Here, you want to select all the mods, make sure you don't forget one or two, and just copy it. Right? So select everything, you can do select everything or just Ctrl A. Just make sure to have everything selected, then you can copy it. Then once you have copied it, you can go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder. And just keep clicking this until you're back in Dark Minecraft Mods. Like this. And now just click paste. And there you go. So you have mods and you have all your mods in there in the dot Minecraft folder. So once you have something like this, simply go ahead and go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once Minecraft has loaded up, you can go to a single player world, you can go to a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world, and the idea here is for you to just have more FPS. So what you can do is F3 or Fn F3 or Fn3, and what you can do is just go up here and just see if your FPS is just higher than what you have, or you can of course go to your sodium settings, as this also uses sodium, by simply going to you know options, video settings, and here you have sodium as well, as well as iris as well. So yeah, that is some of the things you can do if you want. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install OptiFabric for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye.